Could take field questions for U.S. Simile. I have a student asking from within our Telegram group approximately what percentage of questions does he need to get right on the U.S. Simile in order to pass, okay? It's a frequent questions I, I get as far as uh, NBME exams, 3120, etc. Approximately what percentage do you guys need uh, to be safe, okay? And does that affect our management in terms of study in any way if you're getting below or above that, all right? And I'll give you a very consolidated answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So students ask about percentages on the NBME content, uh, free 120, and what's safe to pass USMLE. And I've generally said about a two-thirds, okay? There are different scales depending on the forms you do. There are if you were to go through all the NBMEs for step one and step two, and then you look at uh, best fit lines, uh, for example, the Reddit uh, graphs, okay, where there's score conversion graphs, people who've taken the exam, we look at number of wrongs, we look at the three digit hypothetical conversion score, uh, scales are different, okay, and that's going to apply to the real deal as well, where forms might be different. So to say a 63 versus a 68%, I mean, it's not within the realm of uh, objective reality, okay, but when we talk about basic speculation, about two thirds is safe. Okay. And how does that affect our management? It means that if I have a student who's, let's say, getting a 58% on an NBME form, and obviously we can do the score conversion, we see it's not passing for step one or step two. But in general, uh, when we're getting below the mid 260s, so mid 260s, the fuck am I saying? Below the 60s percent ballpark, on an NBME form or free 120, I say, well, we perhaps need to remediate. And it's never an umbrella, uh, a broad generalized study plan for every student because there's going to be those of you who have certain time constraints, okay? Uh, maybe you want to, your school's forcing you to sit or uh, you've got to apply for the match, okay? So there's different uh, elements to take into account for every student. But when I see scores below the mid 60s, uh, I consider possible remediation for a student. I've made prior clips talking about this. If you're under 60, I generally take a step back from the NBMEs. I want you to go through the UWorld and Corrects. This is assuming you've already finished UWorld prior to going to the NBMEs, which I've talked about. You're going to do UWorld first, finish it, and then you're going to go into the NBMEs offline 20 through 24 first for step one. And for 2CK, you're going to go through 6 through 8 first before you touch any of the online material. A lot to talk about. But I like to see scores generally above 60, all right? And for pass, at least two thirds. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.